Hi guys and uh, welcome to another episode in our unboxing channel and today we got a package from uh, Lazada this is a uh, Broadcom wireless card now So I I I put macOS on my uh, Lenovo Legion, and um, unfortunately, the wireless card that comes with uh, almost all laptops, uh, which is usually an Intel, is not supported with uh, macOS. So what I'm gonna do today is replace that card let me just shut down my uh, laptop <sighs> okay now the process for replacing these uh, usually is the same in uh, all laptops And in almost all new laptops, it's almost the same connector. It's an uh, it's a PCI Express con connector, mini PCI Express connector, I think. Um, so you're going to have to open up your laptop, and uh, it, it it might sound scary at first, but uh, I've I've opened up a number of laptops over the years and uh, I, I haven't had any uh, incidents so always use the right tools um, especially with these electronics you're going to have to uh, use magnetic uh, screwdrivers okay so we've got the top lid out of our um, mother uh, of our uh, laptop now if you can remove your power, uh, here's the power connector for my laptop. Uh, please do so. Okay, so uh, since I'm just going to be quick and uh, I've, I've done this before actually. So I'm, I'm just going to... Uh, uh, just going to remove it without... Uh, removing the power but uh, mind you if you can remove the power if you have the if it's easy to remove the power of your uh, laptop please do so okay and uh, take note that uh, these are different th there's a notch here so just take note of uh, where the notch will be okay and I will be inserting the new card so you just push it all the way and then press it down and uh, it should lock with the uh, screw okay. and clip so so these and um, this is the connection for the antenna this uh, should clip right in okay and uh, let okay so just align it to the hole and uh, it it should clip right in Organize the cables and uh, let's put this back together and try to see if we can get the Wi Fi up in macOS. So, 
I'm just here in the middle of uh, returning the screws and uh, I just want to remind everyone um, you don't have to over tighten these screws uh, for electronics so just a few uh, just bring it in until it's tight and um, just make sure it's secure you don't have to over fasten it if you're worried about the screws getting loose, if if you notice on some of these screws there's uh, something blue on the on the end of it, they put a certain material there, um, Loctite. So they they put a Loctite to hold the screws so that they don't uh, fall off. If you opened up uh, a number of laptops, you're going to realize that. Uh, these screws without the Loctite, those screws actually do get loose over time. That's normal. Um, that's why they put the blue stuff, the Loctite there on uh, on the screws. But um, it's more dangerous. I haven't I haven't seen any of those or any of my laptops lose a screw, but I have. Um, broken a number of um, screw mounting holes from other electronics uh, due to over tightening so just be mindful of that it's it's more dangerous to over tighten something than to under tighten uh, these uh, screws okay so let me just uh, boot Mac OS and let's see if the card is detected. Okay, so I've uh, rebooted Mac OS and there it is. So uh, no drivers. Um, when I restarted Mac OS, uh, it automatically uh, detected my uh, Wi Fi card. Uh, and um, again, that's the Broadcom Wi-Fi card. Uh, you're, you're going to see if if you if you're going to go into Hackintosh, you're probably going to see links on where to buy that. And mm -hmm. why wireless wireless. Okay, there you go. So, again, if you, this video was helpful for you, please like, subscribe, share, and um, thanks for watching, and uh, see you the next time.